Previously on Edgemont. I know how this must look, but if we could just talk about it. If anybody sees the spineless reptile that I used to be involved with, could you please tell him he is so dumb? You wouldn't actually put this thing on in public. It's sensitive, it's thoughtful, it's a made plus. If you do this, I will never, ever speak to you again. Can I break down? You can find out. Hey, isn't this cozy? Who's your auntie? Girls just finished. Earth to get. Hey, relax. Commercial will come on during the break, not right in the middle of the show. Hey, man. Oh, did we miss it? No, it hasn't been on yet. <laughs> and anyway, I'm taping it. You're looking a little frazzled. How long have you been here? Since about noon. <laughs> That's like nine hours. Well, the VCR at home broke down the last time I trusted someone else to tape something. This is it, she's on. Let's turn it up. Man, that was short. She looked amazing, didn't she? Yeah, I gotta buy you some of that stuff. <laughs> Wanna rewind it, watch it again? Covers. Uh, yeah, sure. Washing my hair tonight. Either that or buffing my nails. The play is going to be worth your while, Tracy. Trust me. Hey, are you going to Ken this afternoon? I'm uh, planning on it, considering he's going to be reviewing the stuff that's going to be on the midterm. Great. Can I borrow your notes? Yeah, sure. Cool, thanks. What, well, babysitting problems? Work. I'm not working for me. Not as if I minutes ago, Tyler just phoned He knows you have class. I think he's trying to make a point. He was a bit thrilled about walking in on us on Friday night. Yeah, well, he went out with you once. That doesn't give him property rights. It doesn't matter. I'll just borrow other people's notes. Besides, I need to work. So both my weekend shifts evaporated. What? Yeah. Him, big man. Talk to him. No, don't. Because A, I don't need you to fight my battles, and B, it'll only make things worse. You don't need this crap. Tyler's male ego got hurt, so let him stomp around, bellow, let him get it out of the system, and we can all get on with our lives. Stock boy. I just wanted to thank you for the other night. You mean you just went for a walk? Well, thanks for helping me with my project. Oh, that. And thanks for, you know, being so cool about it. I mean, I may have come across like some kind of an idiot or something. You know, like someone who had some total crush. I didn't notice. 
but I really did enjoy your company, and I just wanted you to know that. So things will be straight. Well, I like it when people are straight. <laughs> your book. For instance, I may have come up with one or two ideas in the interest of making the play as true to life as possible. But I thought you and I were friends again. Do friends break up friends' relationships? Hey, Miss Erin! How are you? I'm good. I just talked to Derek, and it turns out he's just not interested. You know, romantic. Well, some of us may not be totally amazed to hear that. Although I understand how disappointed you must be. No, it's okay, because now we both know where we stand. No games. No secret agendas, just friends. It's always good to have friends, and it's important to be honest with them. Yes, you've always believed in total honesty. Annika, that stuff that happened between you and Craig, you know, when he went chasing after Shelby DeRoche and you had to break up with him? With a vague recollection. Well, that was mainly my fault. You and I were still being enemies, so I convinced Craig that Shelby had the hots, which was just totally not true. Oh, really? And I wasn't going to say anything, except feel like a jerk. You've been such a great friend, and I'm just hoping that there's some way that you can forgive me. It's fine. You don't work today. I have to let my math book here. Mark, I told you. I'm here for my book. I'm not checking up. But you can't let him work all over you. Lecky, do you mind socializing on your own time? I'll see you tomorrow. Mark! Hey, wait, wait a minute. Why, do you have a problem? No, but apparently you do, so let's work it through between us and leave Paige out of it, right? I'm cool. If you say so. You're fired. Hey, the guy. The bag the sun. I told him about Laurel's commercial and they said they'd try. Try what? To send someone to review my play. The biggest newspaper in the province. I gotta do some more rewrites. Rewrites now? Four hours till curtain. There's still time. Gil, you've already rewritten the play. But it hasn't gone far enough. The story's better, but it's still... boring. Erica needs to be more passionate. Well, passionate is good. On the other hand... We don't want to go too far. <laughs> don't tell me you've got a secret admirer. She's a problem.
And then while Gary and Eric are in the hot tub, the phone rings. Uh, where on earth do we get a hot tub? It's the prime minister. He needs Gary to go on some top secret mission. Has <laughs> Gil gone completely insane? He keeps saying bigger's better. I better talk to him. He's in the radio studio with Tracy. They're taping an interview. So, Gary and Erica. That's right, Tracy. She's an ordinary high school student. Played by Laurel Young. And he's a spy. Extremely cool and licensed to kill. They're working together on a project for English. Hold on. This guy's still in high school? Oh, that's his cover. But Erica finds out who he really is, and naturally, it just blows her away. So, basically, the play is a fantasy about a guy who saves the world while some bimbo sits back and worships him. Well, sure. I, I, mean, I mean, no. No, not exactly. The Girl on the Moon. A play about a big secret agent who, for some weird reason, is taking an English class and falling for a high school girl. Look, it doesn't sound so great when you reduce it to a line or two. It's great. I was gonna buy a car. Tyler can't fire you. Tell him that. Exactly. You take this to the Labor Relations Board and sue him for wrongful dismissal. Then you can unionize the place. You know what? Maybe I'll just apply at Uber Burger. Did I warn you? Yes, I did, and then you had to go turn it into some stupid male headbutting contest. What are you doing here? Is this gonna happen to my kid, too? Is this actually gonna be his biological destiny? From sweet little boy to boneheaded running musk ox in 17 short years? I was actually standing up for you. <laughs> right. And I'm the guy who lost his job. You're not the only one. He fired you, too? No, I quit. It's the only way to get your job back. Um, run that by me again? Tyler has a huge shipment coming in today, and he's already short-staffed. He's macho, arrogant, petty, and obnoxious, but he's also lazy. So, basically... I'm just sit here and wait for my phone to ring. Maybe I got a little carried away with these rewrites. Totally. I mean, we gotta remember why the play worked in the first place. It was a sweet little story about two lonely people. It did work, didn't it? It got an A+. Plus. Yes, but it wasn't nearly sexy enough. We can't lose all the rewrites. Where's Laurel, anyway? She's supposed to be back by now. God, that'd be great if we don't even have time for a final rehearsal. Hello? Laurel, where are you? Uh, the cappuccino with a double shot? You're in Woodbridge. What, I need permission to date your friend? She's not my friend. Well, guess what? Chris Laidlaw isn't my friend either. Yeah, but she could be my friend. I mean, she's my age. Well, you're the one who's always telling me girls mature faster than boys. Derek, she's a high school girl. Come on. How can she be in Winnipeg? Her plane got grounded. Mechanical failure. She might not be back till midnight. We can't hold the curtain till midnight. I guess we have to cancel the play. We can't do that. Not after all the work we've done. Hey, it's my play. The best thing I've ever done it. And the Vancouver Sun, I've been waiting for this night all my life. Well, how are we going to do a play without an Erica? You can do the part. Hey, you've been to all the rehearsals. You know, the lines and the blocking. You might not be bad. In fact, you might be really good. <sighs> Tough before. Not that I mean to uh, doubt your insight into the male psyche. Fine. So maybe I misread the guy. I guess it happens. Not react this way. This is totally stupid. Guys, good for you. Without this job, I'm screwed. I have a kid to take care of. Hello? Tyler, hey there. <laughs> I don't believe it. Yeah, I could consider that, as long as you're into hiring Mark back as well. No, that's the deal. No, if Mark doesn't come back, then neither do I. Fine, we'll be there. Yes! Uh, but not for eight bucks an hour. No, Dory gets eight fifty, so if he's worth it, then so are we. Okay, then. Fix yourself. Yep, let me know if you change your mind. What do you think you're doing? If you get him down, you gotta finish him. The guy from the sun hasn't shown up yet, so we're just holding the curtain for 15 more minutes. Aaron and Derek! Hey. I didn't think you were coming. He talked me into it. Um, why don't you 
go ahead and get a seat. Uh, yeah, sure. Fun. <laughs> Isn't it wild? It turns out he's totally, like, smitten. So that's why you came to show off your new boyfriend. Of course not. I mean, it's not like I've ever tried to make anyone jealous. Annika, we need you backstage. So listen to this play, um, you sure it makes me look good? Everything's fine, except that, uh, Laurel couldn't make it, so I'm playing the part. <laughs> You're playing me? I know, it's too hilarious, isn't it? Annika, are you sure you're up to this? I beg your pardon? No offense, but you're not quite me. A girl with an older boyfriend? Or any boyfriend. Not that this is necessarily your fault. I started to establish whose fault it was. Besides, you can't act. Yes, I can. Who played the littlest spawn trap in the community players to sound music? That's what I'm talking about. It was pretty bad. I know this was years ago, but even so. Look, you know me. I'm a straight shooter. I just put it out there. I was excellent. Everybody said so. Annika, I was embarrassed. Annika. Enjoy the show. You want to be paid what Dory's paid? Fine, but you better show me you're worth it. You got enough? I want you here on time. And tell your girlfriend that if she has childcare issues, I don't want to hear about them. She's not my girlfriend. We went out once. Who knows? Maybe it'll happen again. Maybe you like her, though, right? Yeah, I do. She's a bit of a know-it-all sometimes, though. But she's cool. I can't believe we have to churn this out tonight. Tonight. Churn it out? <laughs> Gary? I guess you're happy that I could come over. And you're probably wondering if I'd like something to eat. believe in love. I used to believe in so many things. And you, Gary, tell me, what did you believe in? He believes in silence, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you sing us a song, Annika? Maybe something from Sound of Music? Hi, everyone. My name is Erica. Actually, no. It isn't. It's Aaron. <laughs> Show me a slutty outfit. <laughs> That's what I'll be wearing. Kill. You know I'm really easy. I'll do anything you say. Just remembering a fire I wear. That's what made you. Everyone's stage. Didn't want to spoil the tradition. I hate you! Everyone hates you because you are so totally hateful! This is so high school. You're gonna be the 